comes up on top of the uh, old strip mine area, reclaimed strip mine in Ragu. We're up about 3,500 foot elevation up here, kind of on the top of the mountain. The way they do strip mines is they basically remove the rock and the soil over top of the coal seam and expose the coal seam and then take and uh, mine the coal and then when they're done they just uh, kind of recontour the mountain. You can see looking around, it's up pretty high. It's beautiful up here, but it's grown up quite a bit since the last time we were up here. It's kind of going back down. It's kind of a rocky ride. coming up when we went down the other way. Bring us down out on the main the main trail going back down the mountain. It's been probably about seven or eight years since we were up here because this was closed off for a while. They wouldn't let you ride it. It's open again. down here on the main trail, Avia is going to pan over to the left a little bit and show you some beautiful view back down, the, back down through the valley. That's down towards Valley Head, looking back towards Burgoo. It's about a six to a seven mile ride to get back off of the road that we came in on to get back to where we're at right now. So we're getting ready to start back down the hill. Still up in the strip mine, we're kind of headed back down to the lower part of the mine. They kind of do it in tiers when they rebuild this, plus also following the coal seam, it changes elevation. There's been a lot of water up here this year, this has washed out a lot. Spots we're doing some pretty good rock crawling to get through. See a little bit of change in the color on the leaves up in the higher elevations right up on top. Where we're at up here, it's probably about maybe close to 10 degrees cooler than it is down in the valley. We're up to probably about another 1,000, 1,200 feet from what it is down there. I almost left without my hoodie, and I'm glad I didn't now because it was warm when we started out, but it's probably low 50s up here. Okay. Any video on that? You can see over through there, that's just the uh, just the contour of the land that's been strip mined. To the left is way back out to Bergu. To the right, we'll bring you out over on 15. We're going to take a run over to 15. It's not that much further over. It's just on the other side of this ridge. The road gets a little bit better. Actually, people use this as a shortcut across here, they used to anyway, to get from 15 over to this side. The Elk River down there, they do a lot of trout fishing in there, and a lot of the locals cut through here, coming over from uh, 
15 and save several miles because you either got to go into almost into Webster Springs or go clear to Valley Head, which is about 20 miles around if you go around it. So the more adventurous people come through here sometimes. Looks like there's been a few lately. See the old power poles through here used to bring electric into the mine when it was actually operating. Of course they don't there's no power up here anymore but the poles and some of the wires are still up. A lot of people a lot of people's cut the wire and scavenged it and sold it for scrap. Some of it that's hard to get at or in areas where it's more difficult terrain to get to is still up, but most of it's down. You can see where they cut it off of this pole. And that's just kind of looking back down over there. Where we came from. People's been riding quads yep. up in over there. We've never done much videoing up in here because usually we don't double ride. We just brought the one quad this trip, so we're double riding. So I'm just playing camera cameraman today. Hopefully, it doesn't look like a tornado. Okay. Okay. This is a more typical trail we ride up here. This is an old logging road. Still coming down out of the strip mines and we kind of stumbled on this one. I don't remember if we've ever been back through here before or not, so we're not really quite sure where this is going to come out at. That's when it goes up through there. Yeah. We're just going to stay on this one. This one looks like more of the main drag. Kind of soupy. It stinks. <laughs> That's like old dirt and mud and this. Smells like heaven to me. <laughs> it's getting kind of boggy back in here. Yeah. Kind of coming out in a clearing up here. I'm kind of suspicion this is going to come out over on 15 somewhere. And we're kind of running out of trail, it looks like. Yep. Well, I don't know. It's a not too well used trail down through here, but it's a trail. Now, this is what he likes. Until he gets up on somewhere where he has to go straight down. It's an adventure of not knowing where you're going to end up. I don't think he's even on a trail. I think he's making his own trail. It's a trail. Uh, yeah. I haven't got a clue where we're going to come out, though. Probably come out in somebody's backyard. No, uh, we're up on top of the mountain. You ain't going to come out in somebody's backyard here. Kind of looks like the trail's peppering out. <laughs> yeah. I think our trail died. No, it's still here. It's just not well used. Don't look like there's been anybody back here for a while. Oh, shit. Sorry, folks. <laughs> he hit a hole. Close. Well, that trail didn't work out. It just kind of peppered out, turned in and up, and so we came back about two miles back in there before it gave out, though. So we're back on the main jog now, headed back down the mountain the way we came in. Another little trail down here we're going to check out, though, before we go out. Oh, 
on our little jot today, we've seen a snake and a lot of birds. Daryl about ran over it. You can see we're losing elevation pretty quick down through here. It's starting to warm back up again. We're getting back in down towards the bottom. We're probably about four miles from the road right here. We've got a ways to go yet. I'd hate to be hauling coal down the side of this mountain and the brakes give out on the truck. Ooh. About the only thing you can do is jump and let it go. about a 15 for 20 percent grade now through here it's pretty steep One of the little 